So, I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, swirl pattern in this tank. And uh, I got a PM asking, you know, pretty much how it was done. Uh, and, it, you know, for the, some it may be obvious, some not. But anyway, I did it with a uh, 36 grit flap wheel, which is ridiculously dull. And I also want to take this moment to talk a little bit about safety. Because <clears throat> just about 30 seconds ago... I was taking this thing and I was, you know, swirling and I was trying to get up in here and it got caught and kicked back that away and then rammed me right in my hand right there and hopefully it didn't fuck up my tattoo, I don't know, maybe, yeah. so, uh, yeah, you gotta be careful with the, an angle grinder, it's not a joke, but, so I wanted to uh, go into how it, how fun it is to fucking do this shit because I just absolutely love it and it's kind of like my little zen garden. Anyway, so I'm just going to show you, but I cannot for the life of me locate my uh, $200 fucking tripod. So I'm just going to have to set it on the toolbox right here. And I may or find my ears. Where I put my ears? There they are. So I may or may not put some music in this because this shit is going to be ridiculously loud, so we'll see. But yeah, this is my uh, swirl pinch out. <laughs> hits it from different directions and it shines differently and you see the different swirls so uh, the deeper it is the more there is to look at and hopefully uh, the clear coat won't take too much away from that it, it absolutely will take some of it away but hopefully it won't be too bad I was, uh, I was half considering just letting it patina but I'm not going to do that